Yeah, I'm gonna fire up the cracker rigged uh, MIG welder, brand new welder that's busted, and I uh, had to change this. I don't know. There's something wrong in here in a circuit board, so I just bypassed it with a little six volt battery. I got a 12 volt battery coming for it. You know, I'm gonna get a heavier switch for it than this. I just kind of put this in here, but uh, just have a jumper with a battery, and you can pull the trigger, and the wire comes out, <laughs> and uh, maybe just get some. I'm probably just gonna flux. Uh, wires mig weld with this damn thing because i don't trust it to tell you the truth uh but i got a uh, something here i need to weld and uh just cleaned off for ground and uh let me see about welding that and even though i welded the elliptical very sloppily i kept uh cleaning it off building it up cleaning it off building it up and uh it seems like rock solid and even changed the parts so it's Probably gonna hold on here quite some time. <laughs> Who the hell knows? You know, it may not look pretty, but if you got it melted in there good, and it's gonna work. Well, basically, I had to melt a bolt in there because uh, it's a sloppy weld because there's only one speed on this welder basically because it's uh, you know working off a six volt battery to do the wire speed, but it works. It more or less works, and. Uh, it, it was just it was all rusted out. It took a bolt, and I, that's why it's uh, melted in there. But it's actually uh, penetrated well. So it's it's strong. Like the, before, it was bending like crazy. Right now, I could put concrete on it, pull it back, and it's solid. So I don't know. It's sloppy, but it's strong. The hell with it. So I'm probably gonna get another welder because I got to do some rust on this El Camino. And I want to need something that's, you know, <laughs> can't be screwing around with sheet metal, but there's some rust down here. Just want to cut it out and get this stuff and do it a piece at a time. <laughs> 